Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to put out this video to, you know, kind of accentuate the cord cutting abilities. Everybody's jumping on board with this. There's quite a few reviews that are in the Wall Street Journal recently that is all about cord cutting with the HBO going with its a la carte service and also the NBA and the NFL. So this is just a video to acclimate that. As many of you know, if you've seen my other videos such as this one and this one, you see from my home theater setup that I have a full-blown computer running behind my living room TV that does all my record, um, cuts out the, my commercials, and does everything that a normal DVR would do but through a computer and you don't have to pay any money for the subscription service. And I couple that with Netflix and Amazon Prime and I have enough to um, acclimate my library. So I was looking for ways in which I could implement that through TVs throughout the rest of my house and I was stuck with buying a small computer that was actually rather pricey so you, you'd spend about $180 for a minimum and then you'd put Windows 7 on there and then you'd buy your gyration remote and then you'd be able to stream what was on your your living room TV or whatever your server to the rest of the TVs in your house but as you can see this is pretty costly so I was looking into other options and one of the other options I went with was a uh, one of these simple little Roku boxes. Now as you can see from this Roku box, this is the Generation 3 version. So I was about to produce a video with this, um, but I, was, I said to myself this is lacking one thing, and that was streaming stuff over the internet via XBMC. If you've never heard of XBMC, it's a Xbox Media Center as it originally came out, and they've grown to now Kodi TV or Kodi Media Center. So you can find out more information from them on xbmc.org. But the main reason I wanted to bring this content to you today is for a device that I recently found that is called the Amazon Fire TV. Now this Amazon Fire TV basically comes in a box like this. You can open it up just like so. And I already have mine out because I was too anxious for you. Sorry. If you want to look at an unboxing review, you can look at somebody else. So you simply have your, your Amazon Fire TV and it comes with this little nifty remote. So for an example, this will be a video all about TV and movie streaming. So you can come in here to your Prime video and you can stream any of your stuff from your Prime library and it will stream instantly to your device, not a big deal. It'll give you um, recommendations for other t things that you can stream and this is all from your Amazon Prime library if you have a subscription. Also using that is this little microphone that you see here on top. Now this microphone, you simply press it, push and hold, Annie. And it will come up with TV, music videos, etc. looking for Annie. So if you're looking for music videos, you can come in here, and obviously this isn't the Annie that we were looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. So you can come in here to Annie, you can watch it with your Prime, and it begins to stream it nearly instantly. This is a really good streamer and it brings it to you nearly instantly. So again, that's your standard stuff that comes with your Amazon Fire TV. That's your Amazon videos. You can come in here to your movies and these will load your Amazon, Amazon movies. So you come down here to your apps and these are apps that you can install such as Netflix. Netflix will run just like any other Netflix interface Obviously this runs a little bit faster because unlike all the other streaming boxes, this has a, an Ethernet plug where you can plug in hardwire instead of Wi-Fi. So it makes it a lot faster and easier for you to enjoy. So you can come in here and resume playing. I'm not going to play any of these just due to copyright things. So these are in applications that you can install such as Plex. This is an aggregator of all your media and we'll talk about that a little later. These are games. Uh, Vivo is kind of like a, just what it says here, watch HD music videos. And so for an example of that, you tap your little icon, Aerosmith. And it comes up with your Aerosmith, and this is where you can come up here to your music videos. And you can watch any of Aerosmith music videos right here, 83 of them, and it'll stream it straight from Vivo and bring it out to you um, just as if you, you had it on your regular TV. So you have Revision 3. They're also a good company. 
COPS uh, application if you can't get enough COPS episodes. Uh, ESPN, you do have to have a subscription to your cable company, so this is not ideal for cutting the cord. Um, any, some of it works with subscription base and some of it not. PBS Kids, this is good for your kids if you want to stream something to it. Um, most of it's free, and as you can see, there's a lot of content to offer. Um, and then the last thing with um, the standard Amazon stuff, Jim Henson TV, Craggle. Crackle is a good one. It's produced by Sony, and you can come in here and you can stream any of these movies, shows, and you can um, pretty much watch them nearly instantly. But the main reason that why I like this box is because with um, some guides from AFTV News, you can stream, you can root this box. So now I'm going to come down here to the root section where I've installed custom applications. And you can root this in sideload apps such as Vudu. Vudu currently isn't supported by Amazon Fire TV. I don't know why. They need to because Vudu is a good service. And I have my entire library in here, most of it anyway. And, but you, I did have to hook up a small keyboard like this in order to be able to use this app. But it's just done through a USB. So you can come up here to your Vudu. And you can come in here and watch any of your movies that you have in your Voodoo library. So, say you wanted to watch How to Train Your Dragon 2. Come in here, select the play. And again, it'll give a good streaming options because it's hardwired in through Ethernet. Well, because I couldn't kill the dragon. Such like that. So there's your Voodoo that doesn't come standard. However, you can install it and you can have more options to stream. So, um, that's one of the options. Again, we went over the, the History Channel. We went over other things like that. You can even stream your Google Play movies. So if you've purchased movies from Google Play, like this one that I have, then you can come in here, push play, and it will stream it directly to your device. And you can even do your Google movies. With that, your play, rewind, fast forward buttons, they work as you can see and it's just streaming it from the Google Play Store again that's because I rooted it and I installed the Google um, the Google Play Store and that's where I've gotten all these apps we already went into the crackle we already covered that one um, I'm just gonna finish with online stuff and then I'll show you how I do my local stuff so um, the last thing for the online stuff is this what this is what I was talking about Xbox Media Center. Xbox Media Center you can launch and it will come up in a beautiful interface that it gives you if you're not familiar with this this gives you different channels that you can stream from uh, movies, TV shows, etc that it pulls everything from online. So for an example, this will pull up Ice Films and you can come in here to anything that Ice Films offers and come down here to movies. And these are your movies that are offered. So for, for an example, the, these are the 720p movies. And as you can see, it's really fast and really snappy. Again, it's the quad-core processor that's inside of the Amazon Fire TV. And also that I have it hooked up through Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi. So if you wanted to watch The Hangover 2009 in HD, all you'd have to do is simply select it, come down here to one of the links, and select it. And it'll go out to the Internet, grab it and then bring it down, back down depending on your internet speed it may vary um, for the loading time but as you can see it brings it down and good looking picture and again your pause, play, fast forward, rewind all that stuff works so I'm going to exit out of that not to infringe any copyright laws but that's just one of the things that you can do um, you can also come in here and you can watch your live TV you can see your electronic programming guide now this is streaming all this stuff from my home theater PC as I showed you guys in prior videos. So this is bringing all of my content in to the stuff here. So for an example, say I wanted to watch channel 5 now. You can come in here, I can record it, I can set it up to record from here, and it will record on my main TV, or I can just push switch here, and it will automatically tune to that channel, and then stream it live to this TV. It takes it a little while to get it going, but once it's finally, you know, started up, then as you can see, 
comes up with a full HD picture and it's just streaming that over my local network here. So that'll show you your stuff from live TV. It'll also show you your recordings that you've already recorded on your main box out, out in your living room or whatever. So this will come up with all your recordings that you have done. So if you wanted to watch any of these, you just come in here, simply select it, and it'll, it'll start streaming from your main box to this box. And boom, beautiful HD. Again, you can pause, rewind, fast forward, and all your buttons work. Again, if I were you, I would do all this over Ethernet as it's going to work a lot faster and be a lot more fluid. Um, so that's what you have there. You can watch your live TV. You can, you can program it to record channels. You can come in here to other TV channels. So say, for an example, you wanted to watch any of these things live. You could simply select it, TMZ Live, and it will start to go and grab it from the, your Internet and bring it over. Okay, so that does your live TV, and like I said, this is all of your um, your videos, all your different channels that you can select, and this is a great way to bring um, internet TV to your house. You just come in here to exit, and it exits out. Um, the Amazon Fire TV has the quad-core processor along with the Dolby Digital Surround, and it also has the Ethernet port that's going to help you with speed. And last but not least, I'm going to show you this app that's called the, um, the Media Browser app. That basically what it does is it aggregates my, my media library that I already have. These are all my recorded shows that I have recorded on there. That it's already gone in there with my commercial cutter and cut them all out. And this is everything that I have in there. So for an example, these are all my movies. If you ever wanted to watch your movies and stream them to here, comes up with nice cover art. If you've already watched the movie, it'll give you a little check mark on it. Um, it gives you your your ratings. This is an application called Media Browser, and it works really well. So if you push play, it'll automatically go and get your movies from your library and sling them out to here so that you can watch them anywhere, anytime, and enjoy them in full HD, SD, doesn't really matter. And with that, this is the Media Browser app that's specifically for Android. I sideloaded it to my device just because I love it so much. And they are they are working on bringing full Android or full full Amazon TV support. They haven't done yet, so I just sideloaded this. So there are times when you have to use this little keyboard thing that I showed you before. But again, you can watch your recorded TV, you can watch your live TV, you can watch different channels. And this is all my local stuff. This isn't streaming anything over the internet. So this is just grabbing it from my home theater PC and bringing it here. So again, these are good options. Um, this is probably the best one that I've seen, like I was telling you. Um, this is something that the Roku couldn't do. The Roku had a media browser app and it ran pretty good, but it didn't do um, Xbox Media Center. And that's what makes this the, the best one that there is, is the options to root it get it all working with your Google Play Store, bring in a Chrome browser or Firefox if that's your flavor. And as you can see, there's so much stuff to go over here that I don't have time in this video to go over everything. So this is mainly focused on movies, online video, TV shows, and streaming stuff on your local network. I'm going to do some more videos on how this thing is also a gaming box where you can hook up gaming controllers to this thing and also do um, stuff over your network, such as you can <clears throat> you can be running your PC games on there and bring it to here. But that's again in another video. So subscribe, hit the like button, put your comments below, and uh, thanks for watching.